people good people good people good people okay welcome to the weekend analysis and i'm mr asam as usual and actually i'm going to share market outlook on gold so i usually share market outlook on gold so it is gold spot for those who, who trade gold spot i'm sure we're together actually i had analysis last weekend and yeah things have went well actually things went well uh, because i was looking for maybe when i go to weekly i was looking for price this week at least to move above the previous swing high now so last week we were here so i was looking for this week at least to push above the previous week high so that's what exactly happened even though in the beginning of the week uh market pushed down a little bit so people they were like confused yo we were looking for buys and why it is going down like that but actually it was just a very test a pullback you know it was broken the level so at least it must check that level so it was a retest so that's the highlight so now what do we expect this week that's the good story the good news so we have to stay attention to know what is expected to happen next week now so basically this is analysis for 17th to 21st of april a five days market move so i'll start with the monthly time frame and i'll break down market into uh, i mean in different four time frames now i'll discuss four different time frames so now in monthly time frame now we see yeah the month opened up pushed up to certain level so i have been talking about those that i mean triple tops now uh for several weeks now it's more than a month i think uh since market was down there i was looking forward for market to create the third high so actually now we are on the on the right track you see so now we are on the top creating the clear triple top so now actually this is super trick as market in a monthly time frame still has buying opportunity you see or it is still have some chances to keep on moving to the upside so we cannot generalize that in a monthly time frame we see that the top has already formed so we're moving down no unless this month is going to close so at least we can have a picture of how this has been closed you see so currently in the monthly time frame i'm not 100 percent telling you that we are already completed the upward move now but in lower time frames at least i can provide you a clear picture of what do we expect because i'm projecting just in a weekly basis so this monthly time frame have effect but actually it's not that much because i'm just uh, projecting those short moves you see so basically that's the other thing to consider but um around this region we see the the sellers now you see rejection now they are sellers so do those sellers going to hold on or they are going to fail and buyers win the battle i don't know so if buyers are going to win we expect that we can penetrate the level and move to the upside then that will be a different story if buyers are not going to win we expect this rejection to keep on pushing you see yes then quickly let me go to weekly time frame yeah in weekly time frame actually we see rejection as usual that's very basic now rejection uh price tried to push up yeah then sellers come in and then um it closed into a form of an indecision so now this is a very good news having this one um as uh we are around the zone so having those things now rejections the indecision things now they they deliver a message of a battle between buyers and sellers then the next candle will provide a clear picture of who has won the battle you see so if now this week candle is an indecision so closing of the next week candle will provide us with a message on now what are we going to expect in the coming weeks you see so what are we expecting in the coming weeks is, is something that is going to guide us on what we have to expect on the closing of the month. You see, so we have those that rejection and the next week candle can provide us with some information on what we have to expect. So that's very basic, but remember we still see sellers having some power here. 
we still see sellers having some power at this region. Then basically on weekly time frame, we can see a wave count, you see, a clear wave count, now a five move up. We had this big count from this region, so we were looking for completion of the fifth wave up. So now within the fifth wave, we need to have five internal waves. So we have the one, two, three, four, five. So now it looks like we have already completed the five waves up. But now we can go deeper and consider this region only, the region of the fifth wave. So to understand exactly now what has happened inside this fifth wave, because we still also need other five wave move to complete this fifth wave up. So now this is what we call the multiple wave relationship, you see. You must know what is happening in this degree, then on the other degree, and so on and so on. So that's how things go. So as we move in lower time frame, actually, you can know exactly, are we still expecting to have some movements to the upside? Or we have already completed so we can expect if, uh, expect sales in the coming week. So although things are clear in lower time frames, but keep in mind that sellers are coming in. Sellers are coming in. And maybe moving quickly to daily. Moving quickly to daily time frame now. So in daily time frame, in daily time frame, in daily time frame, we can have another clear picture here. Now you see those five wave moves uh, that I was talking about. And I said we have at least to have a clear picture of what is inside the fifth wave, you see. I said we must have a clear picture of what is inside the fifth wave. So at least here, as we move to lower time frames, you see it is expanding and at least we get something. We get a message of what is expected now in this uh, fifth wave of the fifth wave. So basically in daily time frame, <clears throat> we see that now price was rejected rejected you see rejected it twice now successfully broken the level retested moved up then back again to the level so now price coming back to this level price coming back to this level it may create another opportunity for mo moving up but actually at this region I, I don't much suggest that we can look for this push to the upside no at this region currently but in mind we have i mean we have to keep in mind that we may be pushed up but how far are we going to be pushed now in <clears throat> for our time frame i can uh, provide that clear picture of how far uh we have to expect now the movement to the upside will be like uh <clears throat> and basically now i, I want to provide a, a important message in daily time frame so in daily time frame, what we have to consider here, as I said in, in weekly and um, yes, in weekly and monthly that sellers, they are like taking control. So you can find that now in daily time frame, we have a bearish engulfing. You see this bearish candle, the Friday candle. So it masked or it engulfed the uh, Thursday candle, you see. So Thursday candle has been engulfed. So bearish engulfing. So a bearish engulfing deliver a sell message. You see, sell message, sell message. So it now if it is a sell message, so it correlates with what I've said in daily, in weekly and monthly. It correlates now. So that's the idea. And in addition to that, in addition to that, I'm sure there are those who trade by using indicators. So sometimes just I incorporate indicators. So incorporating indicator, I have got the RSI here. I have got the RSI down here. So you'll find that now we have the idea of divergence, or sometimes we call it as failure of spike. Failure of spike. So you'll find that now, as price will now in the price chart, we still had higher highs. You see, we still had higher highs, higher highs from this region. So now, as price was still keeping on forming higher highs, you see RSI was forming the lower highs. So you will find that now there's loss of momentum at this region. There's loss of momentum. So this loss of momentum now, for those who don't know how to do the divergence, you can put this one, you see. So it is rising up. Then you put on the same region on RSI, you see it is falling, you see. So this is what we call divergence. So it is rising up, then it is falling on the other side. So this divergence also, it is additional information on 
loss of buying momentum, therefore, the idea is sellers are coming in. So if we have loss in momentum in daily time frame, so it means in the remaining lower time frames, we still have the same thing, loss of momentum. So moving to four hour time frame. Now this is my last time frame. So what I'm providing the four hour time frame is going to apply in the remaining time frames now. So basically you can find that a five wave move to the upside is clear. So I was talking about the idea of the fifth of the fifth, you see. So we had that fifth wave now to the upside. So in four hour time frame, at least um, we have a clear picture of the internal five waves and actually they are in a diagonal form you see you see that thing very clear thing a diagonal to the upside so this diagonal is an ending diagonal and basically uh, <clears throat> usually when we have an ending diagonal <clears throat> now it indicates completion of the move to that particular direction but actually this may be super trick uh, why I'm saying that because now we're looking for the fifth wave up. So need, now this diagonal, it may be just wave one of the fifth wave up. But basically, this is possible if there is extension in the fifth wave. But basically, uh, but without extension of the fifth wave, we are done. Without extension of the fifth wave, we are done. We have completed the five wave move up, so we're looking for the downward move. So how this is going to be confirmed, we basically see the fourth wave here, the level of the fourth. So principally, when a price is moving actually below this level, we are 100% down. When a price is moving below this level, we are 100% down. So actually, it is still valid for price to keep on moving around this region and push up again. You see, that is valid. But basically, how are we going to do next week now? Next week, next week, next week, next week. So basically, we will be looking for now price has broken the level. You see it is below the it's below the channel. So if it is below the channel, if it is below the channel, we may expect, you see, now I uh, see the one, two, three down, four, and everything. So we may expect have to have short move. You see this level down here. So it may move up to this region here, completing the fifth wave down. Then it will come up retesting this level. You see? After retesting this level, we can, we may have another movement to this level down. So if it is going to do that, if it is going to do that, we'll be putting our take profits around this region, as I said, because the price is valid to move up to 1940 something here, 41 or 1940, let's say 1940 now. So, but you will put your take a profit at 1941. So, price is valid to move up to 1941 or 40 and move then, I mean, move above the previous swing high. But actually, if it is going to break this level, we will be full down. So, next week, let's watch for push up, retesting, and everything. Then, the price is straight to the downside. Then, we'll be looking for some buys here, but will be super trick not buying full up because we may be just correcting up then they keep on pushing to the downside so that is a trick so basically join telegram channel join telegram channel for updates and i expect to have many updates until the end of may you see on telegram i'm going to provide frequent updates until the end of may frequent updates until on, on of, and until the end of of may so that's how things are going to be and so if you have not joined telegram make sure you follow the link is on the video description uh that is the idea and basically we had we have news so yeah you will watch the calendar but we have news on monday the high impact news and everything so yeah you have to check the calendar it's very basic because what I'm doing here is just a technical analysis that most of the time has nothing to do with the fundamentals. So you must be super trick.
watching what the fundamentals are expected to do. So that